Well, the president called me on two things. Burma was one of them. The other one was the issue we were talking about earlier with regard to the, uh, to the budget process and COVID relief. As I think you know, because we've talked about this before, I've had a long-standing interest in the situation in Burma, a long-standing relationship with Aung San Suu Kyi. I have stuck with her in recent years as everyone has basically thrown her under the bus with regard to the accommodations she seemed to have to make with the military in order to keep the civilian government from being disbanded. In spite of all that, what's now happened is the military government has disbanded the democracy. So regardless of how the countries around the world may feel about the previous criticism of her, she now stands for democracy in Burma. So the president called me about that to ask my idea. Secretary Blinken did as well. I think it's an area where we, on a bipartisan basis, ought to support the strongest possible sanctions the administration can levy uh, against any of these military leaders that we haven't <laughs> levied sanctions against and do it with one voice and try to unify uh, the, the rest of the world uh, in our position, up to and including maybe trying to do something in the UN to see if the Russians and the Chinese would actually veto it. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.